update. Um, I am 30 weeks and 4 days. I've not been reporting anything because nothing's really happened. I've not been in for any scans. I've not been in for like panics or anything like that. She's moving fine. Uh, she moves more in the morning, like when I first get up, and she'll keep moving till about 12-ish, 1-ish, and then she'll slow down, and it'll be like every hour, every half an hour, whatever. Um, but she is moving more than 10 times a day, so that's good. She's moving loads. Uh, sometimes when I play music, certain songs she'll move more to. Um, she loves going in the bath. Like every time she hears the water running, even my partner, when he was running the bath for himself, she was bulging out. <laughs> um, my dad felt a kick. I couldn't feel her. Um, it's winding me up, sorry. Um, I couldn't feel the kick that he felt, but he obviously felt a kick, so that's good. My mum's still waiting for her to kick her. Uh, she keeps like putting her hand up here and it's like she doesn't do it when I'm stood up but surprisingly she did kick my dad once um yeah got like ideally eight weeks which is 38 weeks there can be two weeks each side um still haven't got anywhere else to live evidently that's why this is still the background. Uh, we have got onto the council list. We're just waiting. I hate waiting for other people. I'd rather people wait on me. Um, Sunday dinners are a craving at the minute. I just, I just want one every day. I mean, I want one right now, but the fact that I've got to make it is like, eh, no. I've got to have real mash, not smash, uh, veg. Frozen veg or real veg, I don't care. Um, I've been having frozen veg. And either sausage, chicken thighs, or chicken and mushroom pie. And shit, that's a wasp. Sorry. And gravy. I think it's the mash that's doing it, but I love everything else. It's got to be done. I've got to have one every day. Um, she gets hiccups a lot. Uh, it used to be twice daily, now it's like three times. Um, but apparently hiccups aren't the problem, which is good. Um, I was going to do a video next week, um, but I don't know. My partner's had six days off, so I've not been able to post anyway. So I don't like posting when he's in. Um, but he's just gone back to work. He'll be having more days off than he will in. And then as it gets to like October time, uh, which isn't far away either, it's like next month, he will be getting a lot of shifts in just so that when he does have paternity leave and everything like that, he can, he's still got quite a bit of money behind him. Uh, one thing I will tell you is that having a girl takes your beauty away you get spots and your hair does not grow. My ex-friend told me like, oh, your hair will grow, you still got time. It's like, no, I am in the seventh month. Girls take away your beauty. I have not cut my hair. I have not been to the hairdressers, anything like that. I've not done anything with it. I don't even brush it these days. Um, don't ever feel um, disgusting or dirty if you don't wash and brush your hair every day because pregnancy like honestly it's the only um reason you can have to get away with it obviously depression and pregnancy if you say oh i've not brushed my hair for ages i'll be like oh well you're pregnant so it's fine um i did dye my hair blue um, and it faded within like two washes. So if you dye in your hair, um, make sure it's not like expensive stuff, which mine actually was, because when I dyed it red, it stayed in, in the second trimester. 
and then later on in the second trimester I dyed it again blue and it's just staying like this it's a manky it kind of looks nice there especially in that curl that curl's always there um but yeah um hiccups are fine dyeing your hair's fine in the second trimester i wouldn't risk it now though because uh one it's third trimester so everything's like you can't do this you can't do that um, I'm not traveling unless it's to the hospital and back. My partner's still not allowed in with me, even though we live in the same household. So it's like, if I've got COVID, he's got COVID, which neither of us have. So, um, but yeah, I've got a scan next week. So I'll be 31 and four. So it's literally a week today. Um, then my appointment after that, I should be, I'll be 34 weeks and four, which is terrifying. Uh, they say it's best to organize your hospital bag when you get to the third trimester, cause it can happen whenever you could have, I could have her now. Um, she knows when she's ready. It's all about wait, the waiting games, waiting on her. Uh, cause she knows when she's ready. Uh, I think she's gonna come at like 38 weeks, which isn't that far. As I've said, it's terrifying. We need to find somewhere. I don't want her to be in this flat. I want her in a new house. Um, even if, because we haven't moved in for long, we haven't set a cot up or anything like that. She can sleep in the pram. That's fine. I prefer in the pram because then I can rock her and I take her for a walk and whatever. But everything's fine. Um, make sure you do put, pack your hospital bag. I mean, if you've got a feeling like I have that they'll be due like 38, 39 weeks, whatever, then you might not worry so much. But people will tell you, oh, you're at this week, you need to pack your bag, you need to do this, you need to do that. And I personally don't feel like I need to yet. I have packed bits, but like nothing for me. Uh, I pack, I've got outfits for her, and my partner knows where they are, so I just say, right, these outfits that I washed, just sling them all in, because they're all washed. Um, get anything of mine, as long as it's baggy, and it's comfy so any top and leggings um he's gonna buy me some cheap pajamas to give birth in or like a nightshirt and then pads anything like bottles and nappies are packed as well everything's just in different bags all they have to do is put them all into one bag um Yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't really tell you anything else because I've not had another scan yet. That's not till next week. Mm, I'm buzzing. It still doesn't feel real. That part of me is like, yeah, whatever. Because I can't get into that nesting thing that like, I got annoyed the other day because it was messy in the kitchen. But then I tidied up. Tied it up in the bathroom and then it was like, I'm done now. Or I tied it up in the bedroom, asked my partner to help, and then that was it, done. And I was really, really annoyed that day. We were just tidying and then once we tidied it, we were like, right, that's it. I don't carry on. I want to pack, but I don't see the point. Because we bid on somewhere and it was the only property we could bid on because it was local um, everywhere else was too far for his work and then we got moved from position 7 to 6 6 to 7 back to 6 and now it's saying that the property is not there anymore or we're not eligible for any properties and we're position 11 it's like well I've got two months 
Oh, just just short of that, eight weeks. And they're not teaching us like a priority at all. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. I know there will be people further along than me or genuinely homeless. But like, I don't want to have Evelyn in this flat. The cats won't be able to stay out the bedroom. Whereas if she was in a different house and the cats see that a certain door's closed like that one, um, they'll stay out of it. But if we suddenly shut them out the bedroom, they'd be like, well, why? They'll want to come to us because we're warm or they'll want to warm us up. So they need to get their act together. And I hope that I give birth and leave the same day. I don't want a C-section, I want a water birth. Which, with how I've seen her react to water, <laughs> I think it'll be great. Chip my tooth as well. If you ever have headache, um, headache, toothache, uh, and it's your wisdom teeth, you need to go to the dentist. They'll probably take take out whatever's causing the pain and then just put a filling in and they'll tell you especially if you're in the third trimester to go back after you've given birth because they can't do anything they can't do x-rays anything like that um i actually got worried that night because she was hardly moving after that because uh, they did use a drill um but she was fine she's still fine she just moves every half an hour or two an hour, so I'm like, boom, I'm still here. And then, don't bother. <laughs> and then another hour will pass and then she'll kick again or move again. It's like, right, that's it. Just letting you know I'm here. So like, thanks. <laughs> Sorry I've rambled on. It's another long video. Um, I'll probably do like a picture slide thing next week of like the scans up to this point and what happened at the appointment because I can't take my partner with me again so <sighs> first time experiencing this and he can't experience it with me and it really really upsets me and it upsets him as well that's a pear tree <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I've just seen a pear uh, seen it this tree outside my house and just realised that it's got pears in it, I think. Look like pears. But yeah. Um seeing my partner missing out on this one makes me want to have another one so we can go to them scans. But with how long this COVID's going on, I honestly don't know if you'll be able to and I don't want that to be the only reason we have another one. So gonna see how things go. I'm going to ring him up next Monday and see if he can come through because we live together. Doubt the chances, but you never know. People can go in at 20 weeks, but not when it's vital and it's the last couple of months. It winds me up. Makes no sense. 20 weeks is like, yeah, it's growth, and but it's mostly you go in there to find out the gender. <sighs> Sorry about that, thanks for listening and I will do a picture slide next week.